Hi everyone, it's Mickey Huntington with Quick Tips number seven. I'm sure there are many questions out there and we're doing our best to compile and update our list of frequently asked questions. Please check your Minneapolis College email often and visit the Minneapolis College website at www.minneapolis.edu for frequent updates. You'll see the yellow banner in the center of the screen and you can click on COVID-19 information and resources for learning online. When the new window opens, click on student resources and then scroll down to frequently asked questions. Today, I'm gonna to highlight three of the FAQs. First, why are students still expected to complete spring semester courses? In his stay at home order, Governor Walz included higher education as an essential service. Minneapolis College's top priorities are the safety and health of our faculty, staff, and students, as well as helping our students successfully complete their semester. Course delivery has been shifted to online and the limited areas of campus where students still need access have been sanitized and reconfigured to accommodate social distancing. Second, you may be wondering, can I complete my courses this semester even if I have to be absent for a part of it? There will be more options than usual for students who have unexpected absences due to COVID-19 during the remainder of spring 2020 semester. These changes are being considered carefully as they may impact financial aid and academic standing. Third, you may be worried about your grades and asking, how will grading by my instructor be affected by COVID-19? The college will be offering students the option of choosing a pass no credit grade method for their courses this semester, even in most cases where their courses previously didn't allow this. Using a pass no credit grade rather than an A through F letter grade method can protect students from negative impacts on cumulative grade point average because those grades wouldn't be included in the GPA calculation. Some students in courses may not qualify for this option. For example, where federal rules or licensure requirements in certain occupations must be met. The vast majority of students who do qualify for this option will be able to choose the best grading method for them based on their personal circumstances and academic needs. These changes are being considered carefully as they may impact financial aid and academic standing. In addition, the college will also be expanding options for faculty to use a grade of incomplete when necessary to give students more time to complete coursework after the semester ends. Additional information will be shared as soon as it is available. We appreciate your patience as we navigate these changes. How do you stay informed? Please check your college email often and visit this site frequently for updates. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more quick tips coming soon. Take care and be well.